Okay, it looks like we have everybody, everybody in with us. Thanks for joining us for another Zoom. Um, also want to thank Bernhard Seikovitz for joining us today. Um, before we get started, just a quick reminder uh, to please use the raise hand function if you're going to ask a question and to please keep your microphone muted if you're not asking a question. Um, we're going to get started with the first three, Josh, Catherine, and Kyle. Hey, Bernard. I'm Josh Wines with ESPN. Can you hear me? Yeah, hi. I can hear you, yes. Gotcha. Thank you. So um, how did you get involved? How did you get to this point? Right? What, what was the path from you from, from, from playing in Europe to, to, to getting involved with, with, with the Cardinals? Um, so um, as you said, I grew up in Europe and played football in Austria. Um, basically, my whole life, I started when I was nine years old. Um, I always played for the Vienna Vikings, which is like one of the premier clubs in Europe. Um, and uh, two years ago, the International Player Pathway reached out to me and said they want to bring me over to Florida. Um, but last year, unfortunately, it didn't work out um, since I had to change from receiver to tight end. Maybe the jump or um, the change was a little bit too drastic for me. but. Um, this year they brought me in again um, after I improved on a lot of my measurements um, and this year it worked out and the Cardinals allocated me. Hey Bernard, Catherine from the Arizona Republic. Um, it looks like you had also previously played quarterback. So what has that transition from position to position been like and how does that maybe help you now to have that familiarity across the offense? Yeah, um, <clears throat> yeah, I played quarterback um, most of my career. Um, I started when I was um, like 12 years old um, and I really enjoyed the position because it gave me insight in basically every other position um, of the offense. And I also think it helped me a lot um, transitioning to receiver um, because I already kind of knew how they how receivers should do stuff and um, how routes should be run. Of course, my body muscle memory memory didn't know yet, but um, I figured that out. And I think also the change to tight end um, then wasn't really that drastic for me. Just um, body type. Um, I had to change the body type. Um, but other than that, um, it was a really fluid transition for me, I feel like. Hey, Bernard, Kyle from azcardinals.com. Congratulations. I'm wondering back when you were a kid, did you think about the NFL? Were you interested in trying to make it there? How did how did this kind of come about? And what was it like when you got that phone call that you were going to make the Cardinals? Yeah, um, of course, um, you dream about it. But um, in Europe, more realistically, would be a dream about playing football like soccer. Um, so um, I never really dreamed, dreamt about like playing in the NFL. Um, I mean, when I thought realistically of it, um, but um, from the point on the IPP reached out to me, it really got um, way more realistic. And from that point on, I really um, tried to give it my all to get an opportunity like this. So, um, yeah, I think I did my best and I'm ready to um, attack this um, challenge. Okay, up next, we're going to go to Darren, Tyler and Josh. Hey, Bernard, uh, Darren Urban from azcardinals.com. I, I know you were in the program last year as well. So when you went through it last year, did you kind of know you were going to have to get better? W were you disappointed last year when you didn't get picked? Or did you kind of always look at this that it might be like a two-year plan? Um, of course, um, if I would have looked at it a little bit more objective, maybe um, – I would have said to myself, yes, maybe it's going to be a two-year thing. But when I came in, of course, I, I went in and I thought I did a really good job and I thought um, a team would pick me. Um, so I was, um, of course, really um, disappointed. But um, my family and my friends really um, uh, lifted me up again um, after the decision. And I really used um, this as motivation for the next year. So I really devoted the last year to get better, stronger and faster. Um, and I also played a um, season in Vienna as Titan, so that really helped. And I couldn't be 
more glad to be honest um, that they didn't pick me last year um, so I think um, however it goes in life um, it, it always has a meaning um, and I, I'm really glad I landed here and I wouldn't have been here if 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 last year um, they picked me so I'm glad how it went how it turned out Hey man, Tyler Drake with 98.7 FM, Arizona Sports Station. Congratulations. Uh, I was just curious, why did you decide to make the transition from uh, quarterback to tight end? Um, thank you. Um, so the decision uh, really was made for me. Um, so first of all, I, I never really wanted to play quarterback. Um, they just made me a quarterback because we needed one. And then it really, uh, I, I did a good job. I played in the national team and so on. So. Um, but then when I got to the um, adults, um, at one point they decided to bring in um, an American quarterback, um, which is allowed in Europe. You can have two American guys in a team and most of the time they pick a quarterback as one of the imports. Um, so, of course, when he's the only guy that gets paid in a team in an amateur league, um, the chances of me benching him are really low. Um, so I went up to my coach and said, hey, um, because at this time I was in the military um, and there's like a section from the military, which is called military sports, where you can um, base, basically the military pays you to play sports, um, which only a selected few get um, picked for every year. Um, so I was like, hey coach, um, this would be a little bit of a waste of a time if I don't play this year since I'm in the military sports and it was like, yeah, okay, we're going to try receiver. And yeah, I guess the rest is history. Hey, Bernhard, did you play soccer growing up as well? And if, you, if, if, why, how did you get into football? Like, what was, what was that process like of you getting introduced to the sport as a kid? Yeah, of course. Um, coming from Europe, every young kid starts with soccer. Um, that's like the first, um, a sport tool every mom gives their kid um, a soccer ball um, but I never really um, enjoyed it um, a lot I mean I always played for the school team um, because it was fun playing with the schoolmates but um, yeah I'm, I mean um, what I like most about football is like the physicality and you can do stuff you can really not do in real life like you can hit people and you can um, just um, yeah, you can just lose your mind basically sometimes. So um, that really is like the, I don't know, that really excites me and um, I couldn't find it in soccer. So yeah, um, another sport I tried in um, Vienna because my dad was a swimmer. Um, uh, so I, I got into swimming when I was like four or five. Um, but yeah, um, the team team aspect is missing a little bit. It's it's getting boring if you look in the water for two hours. So, how old were you when you started playing football? Um, I was nine years old. I started playing flag football. Oh, sorry, that's that's the second question. Um, I got into football um, because of my best friend. Um, his dad is um, he he used to live in the USA, so he's uh, more familiar with the American sports. Um, so he um, took me to one of the practices and I really enjoyed it. Um, and after one year, I decided to go to the real football because um, I wanted to try it out. And uh, since then, I stuck to it. Hey, up next, we'll go to Bob, Catherine and Kyle. Hey, Bernard, congratulations, man. Uh, Two questions. What was the name of the American quarterback that made you switch to tight end? And uh, best case scenario for you, what do you think it is here? And and would be making the practice squad be more than enough to make you happy? Um, hi, Bob. Um, the quarterback that um, got over to Austria and benched me was uh, Kevin Berg. He then um, went to play in the AAF, I think. Um, yeah, so maybe you know his name. Um, we also won the Austrian Championship this year. Um, yeah. Um, uh, what was the other thing? Yeah, oh, the practice roster. Um, best case scenario, uh, would it yeah. be 
you know, we don't know what that is, but what would it be like just to make the practice squad? Would that be enough? Um, I mean, of course, um, as of right now, I'm aiming for the active roster. I'm trying to um, compete with everybody in here. I'm trying to um, get a role in special teams and maybe even as a third string or second string tight end. Um, so um, I'm really looking forward to the challenge. Of course, if it's not working out, since I have the international spot, um, the practice roster would still be uh, like an upgrade. Uh, compared to the international spot, because once I land on the international spot, um, I'm not able to play the whole season. So um, if if the coaches don't see me in the active roster yet, but put me in the practice roster, um, there's still a chance chance I could um, get um, uh, upgraded to the active roster during the season. So that would be good for me too. But of course, the goal is um, active roster. Bernard, it looks like it's getting close to midnight in Vienna. Are you in Vienna right now? And um, either way, with that time difference being so drastic, do you watch a lot of American football growing up based off the times? Um, yeah, um, it's it's tough. Um, I'm already in Arizona because I have to do um, a quarantine since I came from Vienna. Um, so I got here on Wednesday. Um, so I'm I'm already fighting the jet lag. Uh, but it's good. Um, and yes, it's a little bit harder to um, watch games, but um, as American football gets more and more popular um, over in Europe, um, a lot of TV stations um, uh, show it. So you can watch it and the earliest games start at seven. So that's pretty good. Um, and also if, um, if we got Game Pass, of course, we can watch it later or the next day. Um, and the last couple of years, I always had Game Pass because I just wanted to watch football a lot. Bernard, uh, I'm not sure. Do you know Moritz Boringer at all? Um, what What is it like seeing what he did? I know he was on practice squads for a couple of years and got drafted. And, and is he a guy that you can lean on for advice if you have talked to him? Yeah, um, of course. I know him for a long time. Um, back in year, we played each other. Um, and also last year he um, trained with us, with us at the AMG Academy. Um, so um, he stayed there for eight weeks. So I had a lot of time to pick his brains on a lot of stuff. Um, and yeah, I think he's a really good athlete. Um, but um, yeah, um, I try to do better than him. That's what this program is about to always improve. Um, and, you know, set the level um, higher and higher every year. Okay, we'll wrap things up with the final four. Howard, Darren, Josh, and Catherine. Hey, Bernard. Bernhard, uh, Howard Balzer from SI.com. You mentioned watching games, Game Pass, and all that. How, how would you describe the level of play, even though I, I assume he feels it's getting better and improving, but how would you describe the level of play there uh, in, in the league that you play in? So the Austrian Football League and the German Football League are one of the um, are the two best leagues in Europe, basically. Um, so um, of course, like um, um, the good athletes in Europe go to different sports like skiing and soccer and uh, so on. So um, I would say the athletic abilities and level of athletic play um, is of course lower than here in the US. I think the coaching in Europe is really good um, since we also have um, U.S. coaches that played football over in the U.S. USA. Doesn't, some played college, some played um, even above that. So, um, yeah, I think the coaching is really good and my knowledge of the game is also um, right there um, on just uh, the competition against really good athletes, um, of course, was missing, but um, I think I'm a fast learner, so I'm looking forward to these camps and um, let's see how much I can learn. Bernard, um, you, you talk about having U.S. coaches over there. You sound like a fairly confident guy. I'm wondering, are you, is there any part of you that's nervous about this, about getting into the NFL world, especially since, you know, you're, you're not from this country. You, ha you don't know a lot of these guys, if any of them. Is there any, do you have any nerves? Um, to be honest, um, 
since my road was so so long until now to get to this point um i i prepared my, i think i prepared, prepared my mind um for this opportunity and i like basically everything i did the last two to three years i did it because of this moment and this opportunity so um i I've, i i don't see a reason why i have to be nervous um i just have to put to the show or to the test what what i have done and then uh, adjust um uh, on my for to like um get away the mistakes um <clears throat> but um, with that being said like when i got the call from steve of course um then um, everything started to click in my head and i got a little bit anxious but um, since I'm here, I haven't been feeling really nervous. Um, Max Williams already reached out to me, so that's that's cool, cool gesture of him. Um, and I think I'm gonna fit in good with the Titans. Uh, I think I'm a cool guy to be around. Um, uh, so uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be a, okay. Hey Bernard, two questions for you. The first one is. Are there any NFL players that you admired or looked up to over the years? And the second question is, what are your expectations for how the actual fo on-field football is going to go? Like, do you think it's going to be faster than you saw in Austria? Is it going to be bigger? What do you think it's going to be like? Mm -hmm. um, of course, I always had, like, idols I looked up to. Um, when I was quarterback, it always was Aaron Rodgers. Uh, because I just thought he's like a super gifted natural um, player, but still undersized and uh, didn't get picked where he should have got picked in the draft. So he always had like a chip on the sh on the shoulder, and I also feel like I have a really big chip chip on my shoulder since I come from Austria, and no one thinks I can actually play football. Um, so I have to prove a lot of people wrong. And um, yeah, um, please the second question again. What do you think the actual football is going to be like in America? Um, I, of course, um, as I said, I think it's going to be more physical, um, faster. Um, but um, at, at, at some point, of, um, I think it comes down to effort and work ethic and how bad do you want it? And I think, um, I mean, I, I really don't know. I never saw a live NFL game, so, um, and I never practiced with the guys. I just saw it in TV. So. Um, of course, um, I don't know what to expect, um, but I'm looking forward to it. And I think, as I said, effort, work ethic, smartness, I, I think that also plays a role. Um, and I think I can like play with them athletically. Otherwise, the program wouldn't have picked me. That, that's what they always said. They always said, uh, we look at, at you at, as human, like um, if you potentially could be an NFL player from your physique, um point of view um and the rest the football you can learn um and since i, I feel re very confident in my football knowledge um i think um yeah i think i'm ready to compete to be honest i don't know if you've spent much time in arizona prior to this or anything like that but outside of football completely what are you most excited for the next uh few months um Outside of, no, I have never been to Arizona. The only um, part of the USA uh, I've seen was um, the IMG Academy um, for four and a half months um, in, in total. Um, I'm really excited. I, I told the, the media guys from the Cardinals um, that I went for a jog today. So it's, it's really cool to just see the city. And of course, I don't have a car yet. Um, I don't even have a phone number yet. So um, it's, it's really exciting. I'm, I'm just like, like a kid with really big eyes, um, soaking everything up. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to learn about the culture because of course it's different than in Europe. The, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just here to soak everything up. I'm like a child, to be honest. <laughs>